full moon. It's supposed to be clear today, so maybe I can get a couple good ones in. We have sunshine today. I just turned my house upside down looking for my tripod. I lost it somewhere. Sometimes you just have to give up. Because the harder you look, the more frustrated you get. And it's either going to pop up or it fell out of my truck on the road somewhere. I'm not going to worry about it. There it is. Tripod. Little things like this make my day. This is a fairly easy yard to clean up. Just rake the street a little bit and run the mulcher. Feels good. Getting hit in the back with one of these.
thought of the day. Don't punch people in haunted houses. You know you're going to get scared. It's not going to make you a man by punching somebody that's working at a haunted house or maybe even volunteering at a haunted house. Way back in elementary, my older brother went through the haunted house and laid out this poor guy that scared him. It, it was funny at the time, but <laughs> that guy was messed up. Um, and I've seen it happen a few times. You know you're going to get scared. Just keep your hands to yourself. Not sure if I ought to cut this one. We'll see. Yes, there's leaves back there. We'll hit it. Some people ain't got no sense. I was edging the driveway in the back. And, you know, they think when you're finished with the mower, they can come on outside. So I was whipping up, you know, little pebbles, little sticks. And there they are with the remote control car just smiling at me, feet from my weed eater. Uh, I gave them a second to realize what was going on. And they didn't see the danger in it, so I had to stop my weed eater and say, Look, 
I don't want to put anybody's eyes out. Give me about three minutes to finish up. Common sense. And then you go finish weed eating. You come back to the back with the blower. <laughs> they don't realize that the, all the, the grass clippings have to be blowed off. Ah, just wait until my truck is gone, people. That's the best way. A white roof. I'm not sure of the material. See this family dollar right here? That was my first job, but it was called Eckerd Drugs. I don't even know if they're still in business, Eckerd Drugs. Anyway, I was 16 years old. A couple of my friends, they said, I dare you to go in there and ask for a job. I was all sweaty in shorts. And she's the manager looked at me, paused for a second, says, can you come in tomorrow? I said, yes. So I was hired, I think, the 5 to 9 shift. And um, that was it. First job, 16 years old. Anyway, it's 79 or 80 today. Feels great. And the girl at the register has these big tube-like fans blowing on her. And she's whining about it's too hot, she wants to go home, and she's not going to work in these conditions. Oh boy. It's not hot. The expectations of the youth today are unreal. I told her, I said, it's not hot in here. She did the eye roll thing, you know. toughen up because it's a tough world out there and the world's not going to bend over for you get used to it